extra video today, and there's a reason for that. We're headed to Papa John's to pick up their jack-o'-lantern pizza. It's only available for seven days. I thought a lot of you guys might want to be aware of this in case you want to get one. And stick around. We're going to show you a few of our favorite scary movies to watch at Halloween time. Or any time. Yeah. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Well, we just made it home from Papa John's. This is the first one they have made of the season. You ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's go. Well, that is cute. I like the black olives for the eyes. Yeah. Wish they would have put a little bit more of those because I love them. Well, you can only have two eyes. I know. Could have been a pumpkin <laughs> with six eyes. Could have been. The triangle shaped eyes like a pumpkin. Smiley face. And pepperoni all around the outside it's a thin and crispy pizza 10.99 is what it cost and it is not sliced be hard to make that and slice mm -hmm. it let's take a look at the bottom of it on this end see how crispy it looks there it is very thin but i, I like the way it's shaped that's a perfect pumpkin shape isn't it it is so we're going to cut this and we're going to try a piece what are you going after this one's yours. Okay. So I'm going after the eyes. Oh, yeah, you have to eat the eyes. Because I know you're not a fan of olives. Nope. Now, this is only available for seven days to Halloween. Can get you a piece. Right there. Yeah, there's the one you need. That's it. Okay, we'll take these to the table. All right. All right, guys, we made it back to the table. Got our thin pizza. Before we eat this. Very thin. There's your olive. My olive. Don't touch it, John. So anybody out there doesn't know a lot about Papa John's, we'll just give you a quick overview. There are 5,500 of them worldwide. The founder sold his Camaro in 1984 to buy $1,600 worth of pizza equipment to start his business. And in 2009, he put a reward out for $250,000 to find that Camaro and wow. buy it back. And he did. I wonder what year Camaro was. It was a 1971 Camaro. Now let's look at this pizza. Thin Very crust. Thin. Let's try it. What'd you think, Bobby? That first bite, I got some of the olives. You did, you got half of it. Which, those always make a pizza better, I think. A little bit of salty flavor to it. I like it. Plenty of pepperoni on there. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, the sauce is kind of a sweet taste. Do you, do you think so? It is. It's very sweet. That's the thing that separates Papa John's from other places. I think they use a lot more sugar in their sauce. And Bobby loves the dipping sauce, the garlic mm -hmm. dipping sauce. Papa John's was the first restaurant to come up with that. So that was their idea. So if anybody out there likes dipping sauce with their pizzas, that's who's founded it. Papa John's. Papa John's. And I know Bobby loves it. So you want to try it. Nice, garlic, buttery flavor. Yeah. They have different flavors, too. Mm -hmm. You, you yeah. don't have to get garlic. This but is like 49 cents favorite. extra. What are you drinking today? Almost forgot. Like Pepsi. Or... Halloween glasses, Michael Myers. What's this is called Thrashed Apple Mountain Dew. Been out for a little while, but a tradition you guys know when we get the uh, do a fast food, I always crack them up with a different drink. How about these cups? Mm -hmm. You got you some got, in there. Oh, already poured it in. That's right. I'm gonna add a little more. Michael Myers and Jason. We also have a few more of these. Mm -hmm. Got these at 
FYE, I think, a few yeah, years ago. they're nice. So sometimes we'll have a Halloween dinner night with the kids, watch a scary movie, and we always bring these out to drink our drinks in. Yeah, like the Tiki Horror Series. <laughs> Let's try the Thrashed Apple. You can really smell the apple flavor, like when we were pouring that. You can really taste the apple flavor in that. You can't even tell it's a Mountain Dew. I wouldn't be able to tell you that's a Mountain Dew in there with it. It reminds me of the Green Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, I guess it you does taste those? like. Yeah, I guess it does taste like it. it says mm -hmm. on the front that it is charged with crisp apple. I like it. I like that one. I don't drink a whole lot of Mountain Dew real at all. I usually drink Pepsi, but I would drink that. So what are we saying on the pizza? I think it's a, a good pizza. It's a fun pizza. Mm -hmm. Once again, if you go to a Halloween party or a kid's party, I think this would be a great idea. I think the kids would really get a kick out of it. Uh, or a movie night. As you notice, we got some pumpkins here. Yeah. Talking about movie night, after we eat this, we're going to come back and we're going to tell you guys a few of our favorite movies and recommendations for you to watch while you eat this pizza. I wanted to give a shout out to the gentleman that made our pizza. He did a great job because that was a very thin pizza and you could burn that very easily. I could see myself burning that. But I was telling you how we always usually have a dinner party with the kids and we do a craft. Last year we did these. We made the uh, our own candy apples. These are the ones I made. This was a fun little craft to do. Come Unfortunately, we didn't get to do one this year. We no. were too busy. But now we are going to give you some ideas of some of our favorite movies and maybe some that you guys haven't heard about. I mean, everybody out there has probably seen most of the Halloweens, the Friday the 13th, the mm -hmm. big names. So we have a couple uh, ideas maybe for ones that most people don't watch this yeah. time. But before we start, Bobby and I are going to share with you our favorite Halloween movie of all time, and it's different. And you can probably guess what mine is. <laughs> it's going to be the original... Halloween, Nick Castle. Nick Castle did an awesome job as Michael Myers in that. That movie probably was one of the scariest movies that I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. My all-time scariest movie, Jaws. When I saw <laughs> it at the age I was, scared me to death. This movie was pretty good also. That was tough for me not to pick that one. So what do you guys think I picked? I'll give you a couple seconds to think. Did any of you guys think you got it right? Which one I'm going to pick? Halloween 2. Didn't go with the original. Went with this one because Michael Myers has more screen time in this movie. I think it's scarier. I love the walk down the hallways of the hospital. You just, Jamie's crawling on the mm -hmm. floor trying to get to a different room and she's injured. She moved pretty good being injured she though. She did. Now we both have been fortunate enough to go to a couple of the Comic Cons and meet a lot of the actors from the original Halloween, except for Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. Would love to meet her, maybe someday. I don't think she comes out to too many. I know she probably done a couple in California, yeah. none here on the East Coast. So now you know our two favorite movies. Now we're gonna share with you a few movies that maybe you haven't heard of that kind of are under the radar for <laughs> horror movies. What's up for you? Now, this one's inspired by um, actual events, The Strangers. This is a good one. Um, this gentleman proposes to this girl. He takes her back to the cabin. She's not real sure she wants to marry him. But um, just the events that take place. And Liz Tyler plays mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she's the young lady. Stephen Tyler's it. daughter. Mm -hmm. Almost kind of reminds me of a Helder Skelter movie. Kind of. It's it does, of yeah. But this is a good one. It's it's very good. They brought a uh, second one out, wasn't it? Yeah, second one. Yes, we well, saw the second this, one. This is better. The original. I think the original is always the best in any series. Except in Halloween. <laughs> okay. What else what you do you have? Oh, you want to see one of mine first. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you guys about one that I know probably none of you have seen. Grave Encounters. This is a very scary movie when you first watch it. If you like ghost adventures, it's a spinoff of that. There are ghost hunters going in and looking for ghosts. I highly recommend this movie. If you haven't seen it, it's a lot of fun. If you do see it, send us a comment later. I want to know what you guys think of this. 
So if you can find it, it's available to stream or however you guys can get it. I highly recommend that. Then I'm gonna go with the rest of mine. I'm kind of old school here, the classics. Um, Don Knotts, one of my favorite actors. He was born in uh, the Morgantown area. grew up, grew up in the Morgantown, West Virginia area. We've got a nice video about him. Um, the Ghost of Mr. Chicken. This is a uh, this one the kids could watch. Mm. You know, Don Knotts is just a great actor, so that's one of my favorites. The Bad Seed. That's very good. I saw that uh, for the very first time. Yeah. Um, it's I think it's back from in the 50s. And uh, I think this one might be hard to find. But check this one out. It's very good. The little girl is the bad seed. And you can't go wrong with whatever happened to baby Jane. Joan Crawford and Betty Davis. Two of the best. Yeah, I didn't think I would like that movie either when I watched I haven't seen either one of those two before. I introduced these to him. Yeah, I enjoyed both of them. They're not your typical serial killer movies, but for old yeah. classics, those are pretty good. And this is nice. This one I got, it's got a little bit of some of the pictures in there and stuff. And those two were like rivals in real life, yeah. Betty Davis and Joan Crawford. We watched a Netflix series on them. Yeah, it was very good. Mm -hmm. All right, so Bobby went old school, and we also like the old school Bella Lugosi's, Lon Chaney. We like about everything. Here's another one that most of you probably haven't heard of. Dead Silence. I like ghost stories. This is a great ghost story, and this movie is pretty scary. It is. When uh, you introduced me to this one, I thought, oh, that can't be scary. That, that was really good. This was one of the movies, movies we did for our movie night with the kids. And, and they liked it. it. Yeah. yeah. If uh, you have a fear of dolls, this is going to be a good one for you because this one's going to scare you. Why is it that dolls are creepy? I don't know. And scary movies. Okay. Dolls and there it is. little kids. Pick this one up. Now, this next one, some of you might have seen it. Bobby doesn't care for it as much as me. as Mama. I love the Mama. Saw it in the theater. The ghost that's in there, they did a great job with uh, the special effects of it moving around. It was freaky. You you thought it was all right. It was well, all right. I liked it. If you haven't seen this one, it's another good ghost story. And one we both agree on that most of you probably have seen, but in case you haven't, is The Conjuring. Conjuring. It's one of the scariest movies probably mm -hmm. of all time. It is. The thing about this one... You have the Conjuring series, you have Annabelle, you have the Nun. It just spins off to everything. Each movie kind of brings in the other movies. We met uh, Andrea, the yeah. older girl that played, um, well, it's based on her life. Yeah, she Andrea. lived through all this. Yeah, we met her at a, a Comic Con. She, Very nice. Story. Yeah, and her dad was supposed to be there, but he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So, what a nice to met him. But she told us a lot of stories about living in house, the real stuff. I mean, this is a movie. Everything's not going to be 100% accurate, but those are some of our choices. We got one more over there, I think. Well, oh, that's right. Now, this one's not one of the scariest ones or might not be in our top four or five, but we love the character of Sam. Yeah. Yeah, it's a must-see. It's like three or four different stories in it. I wouldn't, would you put it in the top five? Uh, probably not the top five, but I, I would say ten. But we like the character. We, like we have the a character. lot. Bobby has what? We have a lot of shirts. Yeah. We have Sam uh, animated props. He's only in the movie, maybe what a fourth of it. Yeah. You just they kind of tell the story around him, and at the end, the last story is about him. Well, that's it. So hopefully you'll be able to get out to your local Papa John's, get the pizza for ten ninety nine, had plenty of pepperoni on it. Lots of cheese. The only thing I think it needed more black olives for the eyeballs. More eyeballs. <laughs> but uh, leave in the comment and tell us what your favorite Halloween movie is. Yeah, had a lot of fun making this, showing you some of our favorite movies. Bobby and I have thought about doing like a series on that. Maybe like what's our favorite Christmas movies and other types of movies. If you guys would be interested in us doing that, put that in the comments also. Hope you have a great Halloween and safe Halloween. Lots Watch, yeah, and yeah, get a lot of candy. Or pass <laughs> out a lot of candy to those kids. I'm sure they'll love that. But make sure to get one of these pizzas 
and watch a scary movie. We plan on doing that every night up until Halloween and even after Halloween. Yeah, and now uh, they can only get it up to the 31st. Yep, so that's it. get that. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B, have left the building. building.